Do you want to start reading, Ken? My two machines load. Um. Mummy, what's that say? Keep trying inside your time. Um. And. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. Ask you. Yes, ask you. Good reading. Let's turn the page and see what it says. The same thing. Yes, but let's go to pages where it doesn't say the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we've got a contents page. What is a loader? Four. Parts of a loader. Six. Buckets and claws. Eight. Mines and quarry. Yes. Ten. In the snow. Twelve. Mending roads. Fourteen. In small spaces. Sixteen. On the farm. Eighteen. Biggest and smallest. Twenty. Activities 22, grocery 23, insects 24. Good I just reading. realized that most of them are even. They're mostly even numbers, yes, the page numbers. What right. is a loader? Loaders are tractors with a large bucket on the front. Ooh. They scoop up earth or rubble and load it onto trucks to be taken away loaders loaders can drive on the road to get from one building site to another there we go the so this is the loader because it's got a bucket on the front mm -hmm. oh, i see loaders are used mainly on building sites loaders usually have wheels who said they didn't? <laughs> That's a strange sentence, isn't it? They can move around the building sites, site more quickly than other machines. A loader picks up the earth instead of pushing it along the ground like a bulldozer does. Now I know the difference between a loader and a bulldozer. Right, here we go. Parts of a loader. Sorry. A loader has three main parts, a cab, a bucket, a bucket and the booms. Hey, what's that mean? Well, the boom is another part, so it's got a the cab, bucket and, a bucket, and, and the, the booms. booms. The bucket is attached to the booms. Bucket carries the earth and rubble. Boom. Yes. yes. Bucket. Yes. The driver sits in the cab to control the loader. He lifts the bucket by moving the booms. Yes. We've got a few other parts nailed there the as well. The wheels we? yes. of a loader have deep grooves on all threads to help them grip the ground. Wheels. Yes, so these deep grooves, booms. we call them grooves or treads. Track. Good Look reading. It. Good work. It looks like that one's driving out the page. It does look like it's driving Buckets out the page. Buckets and claws. The bucket is usually wide and rectangular. It has teeth along the bottom to help it to scoop up things on the ground. I'll help you just sense in a moment, Liam. The bucket can be chains for other tools for example a loader with a giant claw can pick up logs of wood wow <laughs> let's read that that bit down there the boom and claw on this loader are bending over backwards to pick up the logs <laughs> look at that it can go backwards Odd. how amazing the bucket is a large scoop at the front of the tractor. Now pause for a second. There we go. Mines and quarries. Loaders that work in mines and quarries are called front loaders oh. or bucket loaders. They have a very large bucket on the front of the machine. Do you think it could right. have your elephant? Oh, I think they probably could. They do carry a lot, don't they? The loader tips cull into 
the back of the truck, which isn't the best. Maybe not, no, but I guess it can't have it go backwards because it's got to be a front road because it's going to a mine, isn't it? Or a quarry, so I guess it has to drive forwards normally I mean, to these places. coal isn't the best. Oh, coal isn't the best, yes, I agree. We're looking for alternative sources now of energy. Front loaders can move big piles of coal, stones and other things. They load the coal onto trucks. The trucks can take the take the coal where to where it is needed. Yeah, so that's what's happening here, isn't it? Although we don't like that so much now. What do you think it's pouring? No, it's just like gravel. The conveyor belt moves stones into a large pile ready for the loader. That's what's happening here. See, so those are stones. In snow. Look how cold We do, honey. The gravel is okay. They need snow tire chains. The front loaders work well in snow. Their the wheels line don't first, slip, yeah. even on icy ground. Loaders can quickly clear snow from roads or pavements. It's, it's very cold. Yes. Even, it probably needs to change on it. Well, we're going to read that just now. Yes, you're right. Good spotting. The bucket scoops up the snow and carries it away. Loaders work at airports too. They clear snow from the runways. Yes, so they, they do. can actually drive. Yeah. What the hell is airport drive? They've got very good tread, you see. Should we read that little picture in the corner there? Yes. See, it's scooping. And the plane's like, eh, I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yes. When the loader has cleared the snow, the runway of snow, the planes will be able to take off again. <laughs> That's true. And here's what you're talking about with the wheels. How they've got chains on them. This you do that in has snow. chains around its wheel to stop it slipping. That's right. If we pause oh, for one second. Skating. Yes, go on, yes. Mending roads. This is a very, very muddy road. Oh gosh, it is. Backhoe loaders are used for mending roads. The tractor is small and... It has an extra bucket oh, wow. on the back. This bucket is used for digging. Right, backhoe loaders, right. The small bucket breaks up the ground using its teeth. It doesn't have teeth like us, though. No. <coughs> <coughs> but they call them teeth because they look a bit like teeth. The large bucket scoops up the pieces and loads them onto a dump truck. Oh, so there's your front bucket and there's your back bucket there. The driver can face the front or the back to use the larger or smaller bucket. That's the seat <gasps> I think it wheels round. Yes, it must swivel round. That's very interesting. And there must be another window there. Yes, yeah, suppose the window's both sides, yeah. The bucket at the back is called the backhoe. The bucket at the back is the backhoe. That's my backhoe loader. <coughs> so you can clear your throat and you need some water. In small spaces, a skid loader is much smaller than a normal loader. Yes, it's very small. Very small. It is sometimes used instead of a digger in small spaces. For example, it can work underneath a building. So like a car park under a building, if you need to dig that out, use a skid loader. Now I know. Let's pause. There we go. The small bucket can carry and load material. It can also put earth along the ground like a bulldozer. Like a bulldozer, exactly. A skid loader doesn't need a lot of room to work. It can turn all the way around while staying on the same spot. That's amazing. The loader can lift the bucket up very high. Using its long booms. They're very long, aren't they? Wow, we. I probably think they're longer in real, real life. Yes, I think in the picture it doesn't look quite as long, does it? On the farm, loaders can move bales of hay and straw. Like mm -hmm. in Tractor Ted, we saw one of these. Like this, Tractor Ted, oh yeah, we do like Tractor Ted. They don't had we? bales. Bales of hay, they're very heavy, those are. The bucket is taken off and a long 
spike is put on it instead. The spike is called a bale spear. Ooh. Oh, look, these very, very pokey things. The loader oh, spikes a bale of hay, then and then it lifts it up and you're making piles of them My probably goodness. could poke you back. well yes i was about to say i don't want to be poked by one of those yeah, i kind of read your mind the bale spear can have one spike or many spikes some spikes are longer than others oh dear two long spikes are needed to lift big heavy bales of hay oh There's so one, got a mixture of spikes yes two mm -hmm. three Small ones and one, two, three, four big ones. Yeah, the so three small ones at the front and four big ones at the bottom. My goodness. Uh, no, that's the top. All makes for oh, all makes for a very that's dangerous. Not the front. Sorry, that's the top. That's, that's the bottom. The right. It's already on the front. Yeah, it's already oh. on the front. Oh, mummy, what do you say? Mm -hmm. This tractor has one strong boom at the side. Mm. Where? Where? I can't this see one. It. Oh. This is the only one on the side. It's not on the front. <laughs> Biggest and smallest. The biggest loader in the world has a bucket that could carry 80 tons in one scoop. That's the same weight as 13 elephants. 13 elephants? <clears throat> what on earth? Is that the biggest loader in the world? I don't think they've got a picture of it here, actually. I'm not sure. I don't think it would fit on the page. That's crazy. That's the bucket is so tall that an adult can stand up inside it. Whoa. Is that as big? Maybe that's it. Maybe. Look at it because it is much bigger. Small skin loaders are only about 90 centimeters wide. That's just more than a, a three of these books laid end to end. So that's what not books? very big at all. What books? Yeah, this book. So if you put three of these books like this, that's how wide long that one is. Yeah. Okay. They can be again. used inside farm buildings. This farmer is using a skid loader to clear away dirty straw. Yeah, it's quite small. See, it goes in nice small, fits nicely in small spaces. That's it now, we've got an activity page. What's the, what's the activity? Let's share that. It says, Here are three loaders from the book. Can you remember what they do? Right, see, let's see if you can remember. That one's clearing dirty hay. And what kind of loader is it called? It's the smallest loader. Order. Mm. The farmer used a skip. skid loader. Skid Good loader. work. This one is a front loader. Yeah. Um, yes, I yeah, think, I think so. No, let's hay. go back to check. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to check. Yeah, that one's the one with the arm back. Yeah, the, back yeah the single one was in Farmer Ted. In Farmer Ted, yes. Oh, oh, no, that's this one. Yes. It's called a... Oh. It's just a loader. It's just a loader, yes. It's a, just a loader? loader? Good work, This yeah. one's probably a loader too. Maybe. Might, might be a loader. We, we can make hard to tell, How about because, we can make so? Because that picture is, it could be, it could be a bolt, but I don't think it's pushing. Ah, here. It is a loader again, yes. They're both loaders. Yeah. You're right, darling. What's this one? Right, let's see. Well, no, there's you another question now. Yes. loader if you... moving large piles of earth. Which loader do you choose? What colour is it? Who is driving it? Which picture shows the back of loader? Okay, so first answer this one. If you needed to lift a bale of hay, which loader would you choose? And why did you choose that loader? So which loader would you choose for a bale of hay? Mm. No. That's it. Do you remember which loader? Remember the name of the loader? Let's go back and see. No, it might not be pictured here, that's why. It is a bit close to the back here. No. Where we saw the farm. No. Oh, let me help you, sweetheart. There, you might use a loader like this. That's it, that has spikes on it. So it's still called a loader. A it's loader. a loader with, a, with spikes on it, yes. Why would you choose one that has spikes on it? Because it's strong. Because what does the loader need to do? It needs to, to pick up the bale of hay, it needs to spike it. Yes. Then lift it then and it's, put it and, down. Exactly. Then it says, draw a loader. Okay, you could do this at home. Draw a loader moving large piles of earth. And which loader did you choose? What colour is it? And who is driving it? It doesn't really matter. You can make it any colour you like. You can make it anyone who's driving it. And which loader you choose? Well, we know there's, there's backhoe loaders which have a little hole on the back and the front for digging spikes. and scooping. There's a, there's a front loader which has a big bucket on the front. And then there's just 
well, that's basically it, isn't it? Then you've got a skid loader, which is the small one. Which picture shows a backhoe loader? Oh, this is the question. Yes, because there's a bucket on the front and a bucket on the back. We hope you enjoyed reading. Bye.